You've got another free gift for us today. You are, of course, the author of the 30 Day Happiness Bootcamp. And for the last three weeks, you've given us a beautiful uh, exercise to do. So let's give let's give it directly to James before he goes off on his way and before we uh, start the Iberian FM phone in. Go this on. isn't in my contract. I'm meant to have my jazzy music before this, but as it's James, I it's my one week, I'll let him off. Um, <laughs> excuse me. So today's oh tip goodness. is to I thought switch you getting off or on... I call it focus mode, so it depends on your iPhone or Android. But they've got these modes where you can switch off notifications. So, um, and you switch off for at least an hour, maybe two. Um, because you might oh. think, oh, I can just leave my phone on silent. What's the difference? But deep down, you kind of know a notification could come in or you're listening out for a buzz. And they've proven that we, um, we're not fully in the moment sometimes because we're listening out for our phone in case someone calls, in case someone messages. So actually by even switching the point? off. <laughs> pardon? So what's the point? If you're going to put it on silent, that's like, leave me alone, at least for me. That's why I do it. It's yeah, a conscious act. Put it on leave silent. me alone. Go away. Yes. I think you probably do this anyway, James, but it's because a lot of people just constantly look at the uh -huh. phone, even if it's subconscious, it's the buzz to listen out for. Um, and I spot it and I was like, oh, I'm fine. I just put on silent. Nope. I still listen out for it. And so peripheral when I vision, it's if it's in your view, you can see that some yeah. kind of text pop up, even if it's not it's, making a noise. It's like, And then you're like distracted or you're looking at yes. it, even mm -hmm. if it's on silent. So the idea mm -hmm. of having the notifications off is that you can then, you just, nothing's going to come through. But you can set it to say, for example, I've had clients say that they need to, in case their mum needs to call them or emergency. So I, on mine, I allow phone calls. I don't get many, really. So I said to mum, like, if I don't reply just phone me if you desperately need me. Um, but it's yeah. really handy because then you just forget your phone because you know nothing's going to come through anyway. So, yeah. So, it's switch it off or put it to focus mode or um, um, do not disturb rather than silent because it is a big shift. Mm -hmm. All right. So, first first week was um, smiling at people for no, no reason. reason. That was the first gift, wasn't it? And that was great. Uh, and then we had the three, five breathing. Yeah. Um, Breathe in for three and out for five and regulate and calm for three yourself. to five minutes. Yeah. For three to five minutes of that. Uh, and then last week, tell someone that you love them or you love something about them. And I had a great week doing that. So thank you very much for that, Benjamin. And this week, it is like really dealing with that phone addiction, right? Bit of a digital detox, not for a whole week or anything like that, but you're recommending make it an hour or two. Like yeah, knowing it's kind of, on that it'd be unrealistic. But what you'll find is you just switch off that constant, like James said, even looking at the screen or because you constantly do it without realizing it and it, then it frees up your mind to focus on other things to be more present because you might be more present but then you go back to your phone you're present and you're looking at your phone and i know yes. people might not really want to admit it but we kind of do that out of just habit. Right. um so it just switches that point off you know you're going to get nothing there's no point looking at your phone because nothing's going to come through it'll look on but nothing um and it just i've just found it makes me more productive it makes me more in the moment. So sometimes I'll do it for three to four hours. I'll just switch off just for the evening if I want to just chill and I know nothing's going to come in. Um, yeah. So then I can just. I forget. I've put it on, I like, do not disturb. And three or four <laughs> hours later, it's like, three oh, weeks. it's still on. It's still yeah. on. Do not disturb. I wonder who's, if anyone's been trying to reach me. I think that's a benefit of my generation is that I didn't grow up with the technology. So I haven't become accustomed to constantly depending on my. my yeah relationship with my phone as so i sometimes i forget to take my phone you know sometimes it's just not as big a part of the consciousness to me i think that's an advantage to 